Download Take the Money on the Google Play Store. Sponsored by Wahi Connected. What's going on, guys? Uh, so we've set up all the code that we need for our menu. Let me switch over to that real quick. We have all the processes shooting rays into the screen, seeing if we have a collision, and if we have a co collision with a certain object with a certain name, we're going to open up that level um, and have our application start running that. But the thing is, once we go over to Unity and we're going to drag this menu script into the menu controller and we run our game and click, we're shooting rays into the screen but we aren't actually hitting anything. We aren't getting any collisions and we aren't opening up any other levels like we'd expect to. And the reason that is is because we haven't defined the collision box that we're looking for for each of these game objects. So let's stop our game and we're going to add some box colliders which is going to actually trigger off that array has made a hit or a contact so let's just select our brick breaker object and go up to the component tab physics box collider and as you can see over here this is our box collider if we have a touch event anywhere within this box is going to return true that we hit an object and then it's going to check that object's name and if that object's name is brick breaker option then we're going to open up the brick breaker scene that we haven't created yet so that's kind of how it works we're going to go over to our inspector and expand the box a little bit because sometimes people aren't very accurate when they are working on a touch screen so uh, let's just expand that out and we also have to expand the temple run uh, collider box which we haven't added yet so let's go up to the component physics box collider and expand that guy out as well so now that we have those box colliders, let's run the game and click Temple Run. And down here you can see Level Temple Run negative 1 couldn't be loaded because it has not been added to the build settings. And we haven't actually added anything to the build settings yet. So that's the other part of this tutorial is learning about the build settings. Let's, so let's uh, unpause our game and go to File, Build Settings, and Add Current. So now we've added the current scene to our game to the build settings. Uh, which was menu and it has the trigger of zero so when we deploy this application it's gonna start at the trigger of zero which is our menu which is what we want and let's go uh, let's just exit this out and go into our temple run game save our menu and let's add this to the build settings as well so again file build settings and add current so now we have our temple run into our build settings as well so now we can go back to our menu, run the game, and hit Temple Run, as long as it's within that box constraint that we put in earlier, and it's gonna go to our Temple Run scene. So that's pretty awesome. We have our menu working, quick tutorial. Again, the main points of this tutorial was adding a collider box so our rays can actually make some hits uh, that we shoot into the screen. So um, our rays are actually colliding with something. We need the object to have a collider box and uh, also the other part was the build setting. So, so keep those two things in mind when you're developing your games and setting up your scenes. So thanks again for watching, guys. I know it was a quick tutorial, but uh, we have a working menu now. So hope you enjoy that, and we're going to get into our Brick Breaker game. It's going to be pretty awesome, so stay tuned.